In Java, the static keyword is used to denote methods and properties that belong to an object, not to an instance of an object. The static keyword is also used to create singletons, one of the most popular design patterns. Singleton pattern helps you to create a single instance of an object, which can be accessed and shared by other objects. Kotlin is a more elegant way to deal with this. You can use a single keyword, object, to implement the singleton pattern. In this video, I'll show you the differences between implementing a singleton in Java versus Kotlin, how to use object and companion object, and what's happening under the hood when you're using them. If you enjoy the video and you think you learned something new, uh, just subscribe to the channel, would you? First, Let's back up a bit and find out why we need a single instance of an object, aka singleton. Singleton is a design pattern which ensures that a class has only one instance and provides a global point of access to that instance. The singleton pattern is particularly useful for objects which need to be shared between different parts in your app and for resources that are expensive to create. To guarantee that a class has only one instance, you need to control how the object is created. To create a class with only one instance, make the constructor private and create a publicly accessible static reference of the object. While doing this, you don't really want to create the singleton at startup since singletons are used for objects which are expensive to create. To initialize lazily, Provide a static method which checks if the object is created. This method must return the previously created instance or call the constructor and return a new instance. This code seems fine, but there is a major issue. This code is not thread safe. At any time, one thread can pass the if check, but be put on hold while another thread creates the singleton. When the first thread resumes inside the if block, it creates another instance. To fix the threading issue, you can use double check blocking. With double check blocking, if the instance is null, synchronized keyword creates a lock, and the second check ensures the instance is still null. Only after then creates the singleton instance. Yet, this is not enough, and the instance also needs to be marked volatile. Volatile keyword tells the compiler that this variable might be modified asynchronously by concurrent threads. All of this leads to a lot of boilerplate, which you need to repeat each time you implement a singleton. Since this code is too complicated for such a simple task, enums are used for creating singletons in Java most of the time. Now, let's take a look at Kotlin. Kotlin doesn't have static methods or fields, so how can we implement this functionality? Actually, Android Studio or IntelliJ can help us to figure out. When you convert the singleton code in Java to Kotlin, all static properties and methods are moved to a companion object. The converted code works as expected, but we can make it simpler by removing the constructor and companion keyword from object. We'll take a look at the differences between object and companion object later. When you want to use count method, you can access it over the singleton object. In Kotlin, object is a special class that only has one instance. If you create a class with the object keyword instead of class, the Kotlin compiler makes the constructor private, creates a static reference for the object, and initializes the reference in a static block. Static blocks are called only once when the static field is first accessed. The JVM handles the static blocks in a similar way how it handles synchronized blocks. When the singleton class is initializing, the JVM acquires a lock on the synchronized block, making it impossible for another thread to access it. When the lock is released, the singleton instance is already created, so the static block won't execute again. This guarantees that there is only one instance of the singleton which fulfills the singleton contract. Plus, the object is both thread safe and lazily created the first time it's accessed. Voila! Companion object is similar to object. 
Companion objects are always declared in a class and their properties can be accessed by using the host object. The companion object doesn't require a name. If the companion object has a name, the caller can access the members using the companion object's name. For example, here we have the similar companion objects with and without a name. Any caller can access the count method on some class, just like it's a static member of this class. Alternatively, any caller can access the count method by using counter just like a static member of another class. The companion object decompiles into an inner class with a private constructor. The host class initializes the inner class through a synthetic constructor, which only it can access. The host class keeps a public reference to the companion object, which is accessible from other classes. If the companion object is declared without a name, the Kotlin compiler uses companion as the name of the static class. So far, we've seen the object keyword used in object declarations. Object keyword can also be used in object expressions. When used as an expression, object keyword helps you to create anonymous objects and anonymous inner classes. Let's say you need a temporary object to hold some values. You can declare and initialize your object with the desired values on the spot and access them later. In the generated code, this translates into anonymous Java class marked by undefined type to store the anonymous object with generated getters and setters. The object keyword also helps you to create anonymous classes without writing any boilerplate code. You can use an object expression and the Kotlin compiler generates the wrapper class declaration to create an anonymous class. The object keyword helps you to create thread safe singletons, anonymous objects, and anonymous classes with less code. With object and companion object, Kotlin generates all the code which you would achieve by static keyword in Java. Plus, you can use object expressions to create anonymous objects and classes without any boilerplate code. Thanks for watching. Go write beautiful Android apps with Kotlin, and I'll see you next time.